I understand you have a budget of 8 million euros and there was a question here at the Healthy Nation conference uh, that suggested that wasn't a very big budget. How do you get by on a relatively small budget? We had 8 million euros also to start up uh, as, as a start capital and then it's, it's a running budget of 8 million. But it is founded on that all the data are out there. We are not, we are not uh, going to create data. It is existing data from the databases uh, on national level, mm -hmm. the databases on the hospitals and on the, uh, from the regional authorities and so on. Mm -hmm. So we just have to integrate and to show. That's one of the answers. The other answer is that people, uh, the editors who is making the content of this portal are those out there. Uh, they are the staff from the hospitals, the staff in the uh, GPS clinics, and the staff uh, on the regional administrations and so on. So the editors, 800 people out there, uh, makes the content of the portal and they get, they get their wages from somebody else. Yes, so it sounds to me like there is much more simplicity and uh, integration between the different layers of the health system in, in, uh, in Denmark. Uh, compared to Australia where you have different states, you know, different uh, national organisations and down at the local level, we have a huge amount of complexity here. How did you get to such a simple way of operating? It hasn't been simple and uh, it sounds more simple that, than it has been because we have in Denmark a municipality level, a regional level and a governmental level. And this is the first breakthrough we have had. Oh, okay. uh, and, and we have uh, all those stories which you have here, we also had in Denmark. But then the regions went on, we want to start this, uh, we want to, to integrate. And um, then they did, and they were first movers. But for instance, still the municipalities are a little behind. They are on, but a little behind. And, and the, the, the government level says, okay, they, they look down and they are not so happy that the regions are the leading. So we have all those tensions also in Denmark still, but they are brought together uh, and managed on this portal. So what was the catalyst? What made everybody decide to work together? Because if it's like Australia, or there's all sorts of politics and infighting that make it very, very difficult. I think it was neat. It was neat because uh, the regions found that they had rising expenditures for medicine in the late 90s. And the, there was um, emerging, there was uh, private portals uh, from, with was finance from the pharmaceutical industry, and they were having a lot of, of users. So the public said, we had, we had to, to struggle that, we had to make our own portal. And then the regions found the money. And it, it, was, it was the, start, the starting point. Here you have the money, please let us make a portal together. Now, you do have one challenge though. Uh, in your presentation, you said, that there was a very high percentage of people using the internet to get access to information. I think you said 80 or 90 percent of yeah. the population. But then around 10 percent accessing the portal. What's the discrepancy there? Uh, uh, 10 percent access uh, their personal clinical data on the portal, yeah. but, but 90 percent use the, the portal. I think that uh, still we, the digital signature, the, the, the thing which you use to log on, is still a barrier. Only one million Danes have such one, which is for all the public uh, sector. Now we have uh, introduced a new one, which is common with the bankers. Uh, it's much more popular. Four million people out of five million uh, uses uh, the, the private net banking. So I think that's a step forward. Okay. And then I also have to say, it's not unusual that portals with login only have 10% login. That's, that's very normal also uh, at our portal. So it is right now, but I hope we move on, especially with that. Thank you.